but we now have a technology that is mind-boggling into its, its repercussions beyond what I'm doing. It's called telepresence. And we are now, we've made a promise to our sponsors and delivered on the promise that we're going to go where no one has ever been. Okay, so imagine we throw a dart at a map, particularly the southern hemisphere, which is completely on the know. We're, we're very northern hemisphere centric because that's where all the land is and all the wars are fought and everything's done in the northern hemisphere. You look down at the southern hemisphere and it's all blue, 85 percent of it, and there's very little going on down there, but that's where most of the planet that's unexplored is. So if you throw, throw a dart at that, we do a little more than that, but say, I, I will make you a promise that if I go to this spot, it's 20,000 feet under the ocean, it's Sunday morning, two o'clock in the morning, no matter how deep I am, no matter when, no matter where, I will deliver the smartest minds in America to that spot in 30 minutes. Now, how the heck are you going to do that? I mean, I'm going to deliver the smartest minds in our country to that spot of discovery within 30 minutes of making the discovery, even if it's Sunday morning, 2 a.m. So a ship's out of sea. Cool. I can put it on my iPhone. I can do it right now, actually. I can put the ship, it's not at sea right now, but maybe the Okeanos is, might be diving right now. I can put it on my iPhone, and I can put it on my iPad and whatever, and I can just, I can get a, a tweeter, or I can get a Facebook alert. I can, you know, someone can alert me, because I know they're diving right now, but not my ship, The other, we have two ships. I haven't tuned in lately. But if you go to nautiluslive.org, that's what I'm gonna go to. We'll see. I'm assuming I'll get coverage here. Um, there's the team at sea right now. Vehicles are down. I think right now. I haven't checked. So they make a discovery, and I'm sitting here. Well, I'm not close to, uh, you know, if, if the university would want it to be, it could, it could uh, have a command center. It looked like $10,000. It was cheap. But they're a clone of what's on the ship. So they call me and say, uh, get, get your command center. They could wake me in bed. I could be sleeping because it's Sunday morning at 2 o'clock. And they could wake me in bed and say, turn on your laptop. I have a wireless in the house. They can flow the discovery in my while I'm laying in bed in my pajamas. They can flow it onto my laptop. They can then take my phone and patch it to the pilot's ear. And I'm sitting in bed, and I'm talking to them. Saying, oh, you're going. And then if I get really excited, I say, well, I'm going to go to my command center, which is 20 minutes away. And then when I go to my command center, I put on a headset, and now I'm really in the game because I'm talking to everyone that's in the game. And there, it's a chat room, but a very high-tech chat room. So everyone that's in the game is in their, in their command centers, and I don't care where they physically are. We're looking at the same thing. We're talking about it. We're making decisions as if we were all in the same room.